Hey there crafty friends! Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. In today's video I'm going to share with you some projects using the Spellbinders March 2021 kit. But first I wanted to share with you what I was sent from Barely Art. They sent me a box of glue as well as a super duper sparkly washi tape. And I'm really excited about the washi tape because I love my washi. I really want to use this in my planner. So I went ahead and opened it up just to check it out. And it's really, really super sparkly. And you get a lot in these rolls. I mean, that is a chunky roll of washi there. And the tack is just right. It's going to be perfect for going in my planner. So I'm super excited about that. So I'll be showing that in an upcoming project. And I was so surprised and excited to get this big box of glue. Look at how amazing this is. So you get this little card in there and it shows the pictures of the different size tips. This bottle of glue is nice and heavy and it's just, there's a ton of glue in that. And then this one is full as well. So I'm gonna be adding my tip to that and using it on my projects today. Now they sent me this glue, uh, a few weeks ago and I have been playing with it for a while now but I did want to uh, show myself opening it and, and checking it out for the first time and I was definitely in need of glue so what better way than to use it on a Spellbinders Club card kit and I'm gonna make 10 cards with you guys today. So when I opened up my card kit I had two different dies because I'm also subscribing to the Kitten Caboodle. So I get the large die of the month as well as the small die of the month. Now I've been buying these kits now for a while. You guys, I'm embarrassed to say they're kind of stacking up in the corner of my craft room. So this is really the first kit that I'm actually opening up and playing with and I'm super excited about it. So I like how they give you this card and it shows you what comes in the kit and little samples. And for this particular kit. I'm so excited about that little bunny die. So you get 10 cards and 10 envelopes. They also send you some adhesive. You also get some pop dots and that is the die that makes the little bunny and you get little flower cuts and there's also coordinating dies to the stamps as far as the sentiments go. So the stamps are super cute with those little critters and then you get some sparkly gemstones. Now I adore these little critters, so, so cute. And you also get the same bunny as, that, as in the die. There are some, um, stickers there. You have these butterfly dimensionals, which are really super sparkly and pretty. And I'm so excited about those. You also get these really thick stickers and they're very sparkly. They're in a white glitter and lots of little images. And so, so super cute. I love that little stamp with the bunny on it. There's also an entire bag of some ephemera and it is a ton, a ton of die cuts, you guys. I There's just so much variety in this kit. And these are so pretty. You get the florals, you get the St. Patty's clovers if you wanted to do that kind of a theme. They also include some of the same little critters. So there is kind of a theme going on, but you get some sentiments in there, the florals, really, really cute stuff. It's just so much. It's like falling out of the envelope. You also get a very thick stack of paper. So when I opened up the paper and I was checking it out, I really was um, excited to see that there are papers in there that have foil on them. Now, the paper is on the thin side. I mean, it is very thin, like the original scrapbooking paper from uh, that you can go and pick up at any craft store. But I love, love, love the prints on this stack. There's so many favorites, and so I'm really excited to get to use them for my cards. And look at how cute those little bunnies are. So you know me and my bunnies. I am just really in love with this month's kit. So, so super cute. And to top it off, they do give you some cardstock, and this cardstock is really nice and sturdy thick. I think it's probably 85 to 100 pounds. Now the gold uh, 
cardstock is really thick and it is double sided which is really cool as well so the colors you get you get like one sheet of each color and you have the green blue and purple a white and a variation of pinks and then that one color there is it's like a gray color and then you also get a yellow so that is everything that comes in the kit so let's go ahead and dive in for card one I picked that plaid paper and cut out a panel that was four and a half by four and a quarter by five and a half and then I used a rectangle die that measures about four and eleven sixteenths by three and seven sixteenths that's why it's great to have a little die for that kind of a measurement I stamped and embossed the sentiment and I'm going to do some inking which is from my perspective my comfort zone and my way of card making I'm not really used to using cut aparts and layering and doing all that so this is kind of a first for me so going to my comfort zone I'm gonna go ahead and stencil a sky background using the distress oxide tumbled glass and then the grass was the cracked pistachio this is a, a stencil die from Newton's Nook designs and I'm just going to ink that up quickly. I chose Distress Oxide to make it go a little bit quicker. I am usually using the regular Distress inks when I do my blending. So I'm trying out that Barely Arts glue and it's working just great to glue down my little critters and the grass. The grass doesn't fit all the way across this panel so I'm gonna use both that were included in the kit. But that's okay because I'm going to add that little bird to cover up the spot where both uh, ends of the grass meet. So you get those pop dots in the kit and they're really, really super chunky. So I'm going to pop up the bird with the pop dots and as well as the fox. I'm just going to cut some of those strips and put those to good use. No need to waste those. That's going to work just like double sided foam tape. Again, that but those pop dots are super duper thick. I'm bending that little butterfly and adding some glue and just holding it down so that it dries and pulling up those little wings to add a little bit of dimension. And then that completes that panel. So now all I gotta do is glue the different layers to my card base. I like to smooth out the glue with my bone folder and this glue smooths out really nice. I'm going to center that on my panel and that completes card number one. For card number two, I went ahead and cut out two different panels. I used some turquoise cardstock from my stash and then I also cut out that word pattern paper and I'm just laying those together. The paper is on the thin side and so when you're using the liquid glue sometimes it helps to put your um, little stamp blocks over there to help it dry nice and flat. I'm adhering that layering, uh, that layered piece to my card base and smoothing it out and now I'm going to go ahead and stamp that same sentiment onto this little um, ephemera piece. I like the sentiment, I like how it works with this kit. I'm going to use some white embossing powder this time and then get my heat tool nice and hot so that I can melt down that powder and then I love the way that that looks. So now that I have my sentiment all stamped I'm going to go ahead and put my card together. I took some white twine and I tied little bows on either end because I wanted it to look like there was a banner strung across the top of the card. So those little die cut pieces I'm just popping those up with some double sided foam tape and I'm going to string it across the, well I'm not going to string it, I'm actually just going to stick it down and it's going to look like it's strung because that twine is in the background. I'm going to add a little glue to the top so that it will stick to that twine and then I really like the way that that looks. So now it's just about placing down the little ephemera pieces. So I'm just going to pop up the bunny and pop up that sentiment and add the little florals and the leaves. I'm going to glue those down first and just trying to kind of tuck them behind. It's nice to have that kind of access before I adhere down that log piece with the sentiment. I'm planning out where the flowers are going to go and I'm just tucking things around. Now that I have those glued down, I'm just going to go ahead and put down the little cut log piece with the bunny 
and finally add some of the florals. So this is a different kind of crafting than what I'm used to, but I was having a lot of fun and I just gave myself permission to just use whatever I felt like. I wasn't going to hoard anything in this kit. If I wanted to use it, I was just going to use it. Finally, I'm going to add some little Nouveau sparkly drops and that is going to complete card number two. For card number three, I used a rectangle die as well as an oval die. I did the same kind of stenciling on that piece of oval for a little sky background. So I, do, I cut that out of the video because this video I know for sure is going to be on the longish side. The uh, die set came with the little flowers that you can tuck under the bunny's arm and I just think it's so, so super cute. So now I'm just gluing down those layers, creating that little backdrop for my little scene and I wanted that uh, pattern paper to show so I the oval is a good way to really show off that pattern paper but still have a nice little scenic background for your die cuts or your stickers or your cut aparts or whatever it is that you're going to use or even your stamped images so now I'm just messing around and playing with the placement of these adorable little die cuts and I'm going to pop up the bunny and some of the little bags of seed. And then I also stamped that banner with love. I stamped and embossed that and used the coordinating die to cut that out as well. So now I'm just messing around with placement and I'm going to figure out where I want everything to go. I'm gonna pop up that banner as well and I really like how uh, the play with the little ephemera and the dies as well as the stamps and using all of it together. That completes card number three. For card number four, I chose another plaid pattern and I also die cut out a stitched rectangle and used that embossing folder that looks like textured wood grain. And I really thought that that shows off the pattern paper, but it also gives me a little area that I can put all of those little ephemera pieces on there and they'll show up really nice. I like to have that white framing my card and I think that that looks really pretty. So gluing down the little pots and I had to use that little hedgehog. How adorable is he? I'm gonna pop up the pot in the center to give it some added dimension. And I'm not gonna use the pop dots that came with the kit. I'm using my Scotch double-sided foam tape. It's not as thick and it's at a height that I'm a little bit more comfortable with, especially when it comes to mailing the cards. And I like to give my die cuts lots of support so that they don't get smushed or ripped in the mail. So now I'm securely adding some more double-sided adhesive to that sentiment, and I'm gonna add that over across the top. But because my panel is embossed, I added a little liquid glue to give it some more security. I'm going to use my Nouveau Sparkly Pink Nouveau Drops just to add a little bit of sparkle and a little bit more embellishment, and then that completes card four. For card number five, I cut out a strip of that black striped paper and I'm adhering it to the end of one of the pattern papers. I really liked the way that that looked, especially because the little bunny there has that black outline. So I felt like that black and white stripe really just made him pop out a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and stamp and emboss another one of those little banners with the white cardstock that came in the kit. The white cardstock that came in the kit coordinates with the paper that's in that pad, more so than the white cardstock that, that I have in my stash. So I wanted to make sure that it's coordinated nicely. So now I'm just doing the same thing as with my other card. I'm tucking under with the leaves and the floor, uh, the leaves behind the florals, and then I have the florals popped up on that double sided double sided foam tape, and then I'm just going to adhere that down. This card came together super duper quick. 
With the bunny, I'm going to partially pop him up and then add the glue to glue him to the top of the florals. And then go across the top of the card with the banner. And I think that that looks so cute. I wanted to use some of those gemstones with this card, so I ended up choosing the gold. I thought the gold coordinated the best. And so I'm adding different sizes around. And then I'm going to add some sparkle to the center of those flowers. And that completes card number five. For card number six, I'm going to use some of that gold foil and I'm going to cut it in a strip just like on my last card, but I'm going to make, um, make it a double strip using that pink and white stripe. I'm also going to cut that that flower crate down so that it looks like a flower box to put it in front of the window ephemera piece. So I loved this pattern paper with all the windows so I knew I just had to use that paper with the window die cut. So just adding the glue and then what's nice about the foil paper is if you get any glue on there you just need to wipe it off before it dries and you're just fine. So smoothing out that little piece of paper, I'm gluing that to the top of the gold foil paper, and I love the way that that looks. So smoothing it down because that really helps the glue dry as well. And then I'm just shortening that piece there so that it looks like the flower box. And I picked my little sentiment grateful, which is one of the ephemera pieces, and now I just gotta glue it all down. I do want to pop up that flower box and so I'm going to use my double sided adhesive foam and then I'm also going to um, tuck in that uh, tuck the banner over the top so I'm only going to add the adhesive foam to the bottom portion and then I'll glue the top part with the liquid glue so that it sits across that box. So that is a way that you can uh, fully support your die cut to make sure that you're not having any uneven pieces on the front of your card. I love the little flower dies that come in this kit and so I wanted to add that to the flower box and I cut some out with the gold to coordinate with the strip on the side. And those little hearts are actually remnants from the clover dye that come in this kit. So I'm just gonna glue those down and that is going to complete card number six. For the next card, I cut out four of those clover dies and I'm going to glue them together to make a frame. I love the fine tip on the Barely Arts glue. It goes into those little tiny crevices perfectly. And I'm just using my fingers to guide me to line those two die cuts together. And I just, I've been really, really happy with the Barely Arts glue. And what I like the most about this glue is that the tip is not clogging for me, which is a great thing. So I'm not having to stop constantly and unclog the tip. So during the making of all of these cards, I've just really thought that the glue has done a great job. And so far, I'm very satisfied. So now that I have my frame all put together, I chose that uh, banner paper that also has the foil accents on there. And I'm just gonna smooth that down with my bone folder. I chose the little bunny ephemera piece to uh, go inside the frame because I felt like he popped out a lot more with his little white outline or with his black outline. And then I also chose to use the sentiment to coordinate with him as well. I'm going to pop up both of the bunny and the sentiment strips. And this card is going to be so easy peasy, but looks so cute with the, the combination of that gold foil and that pattern paper. So that card definitely came together really super easy. And that is it. That completes card number seven. So moving on to card number eight, I chose that adorable little bunny pattern paper and then I used that wood grain embossing folder again. 
I'm also going to use the bunny dye that came in the kit as well as some of the florals. Now I cut the leaves out with the green cardstock and the flower out with white cardstock and then I used my Copic markers to color over the stems and the flower. I felt like that gave it just the right touch and it made the florals stand out a little bit more and that's definitely more of the crafting that I'm used to doing. So I'm going to glue that flower and tuck it under his little paw. So super cute. And I'm really loving the way that this card came out and how easy it is. It just really came together so quickly. I'm going to pop the bunny up and use my double sided adhesive foam, giving it some nice cover so that it's supported through the mail. And then I'm also going to add uh, some foam to the banner as well. I really like how this card turned out. It's so simple yet so adorable. And again, the oval really helps to let that pattern paper shine through without covering it too much. I'm gonna add a little liquid glue to the back of the bunny since I'm gluing him onto that uneven surface. And then I'm gonna glue the little die cuts directly onto that white oval. This card came together so quickly and so simply, and I'm just amazed at how many cards I was able to get done using this kit. This video overall took about three hours, I think. I did film on different days, and then so having to edit it down was quite the challenge, <laughs> but I did have a lot of fun working with this kit. I did use the little foil hearts and I'm also going to use the little strip to put at the bottom of the inside of my card. I did that for most of my cards but I did not have that on film. So that completed card number eight moving on to card nine already so now I'm going to emboss that same sentiment again. That seems to be my favorite sentiment from this kit that as well as the banner going to melt that embossing powder down and I really wanted to make a card with the butterflies so I picked some florals that I wanted to use and as well as the sentiment and I'm not even going to layer the card the card bases are a white textured card stock so you don't even need to put pattern paper on it it has that texture in the background that gives it already some interest so it looks fine just gluing the ephemera pieces directly on there. So just like my other cards I'm just messing around with placement with the leaves and the florals and I'm going to tuck those behind gluing them down with my liquid glue. I'm going to pop up that large floral piece to give it some dimension. And then the butterfly that I chose was the turquoise one because I felt like that coordinated the best with the flowers there. And now it's just about dressing it up. So I'm going to add a few little hearts, tuck them in here and there, add some more leaves, and then use some of those sparkly gemstones that came with the kit. I felt like it needed just a little something more, so I'm tucking in some one or more flower piece that I had and I didn't want that little piece to go to waste so I found a spot for it tucked right under there under that green leaf and then now for the finishing touch I'm going to add some nouveau drops to the center of my flowers and that completes card number nine for my final card, I just had to stamp and color those images. That is what I'm used to doing. I did ink up this panel off camera. I'm just adding, adding a little bit of splatter to it. And that is my blended background for my card. I'm going to prep it to stamp that sentiment. And of course, I'm going to use some clear embossing powder and heat emboss that as well. And that is a nice background for my colored up critters. How cute are those critters? I made the bunny holding a flower instead of a clover and I think that she is just adorable. 
So the critters are the focus on this card, pretty clean and simple. And I'm just going to add for a finishing touch some iridescent sequins to my card. And they glued down just perfectly with the Barely Arts glue. And that is card number 10. So that was 10 cards in the making on this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you like the cards that I came up with. I had a lot of fun and I have a lot of kits, so I'm gonna try to do this more. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more videos like this. There was so much in this kit, you guys. I had so much left over. I barely scratched the surface and I didn't even use those stickers so much cardstock left over so these kits you get a lot of bang for your buck not to mention i have the dies to work with so i'll be doing that in an upcoming video well i hope you guys all have a wonderful day i hope you enjoyed watching and i want to thank you again so until next time happy crafting bye for now